Number 36, calculate the force a piano tuner applies to stretch a steel piano wire eight millimeters if the wire is originally 0 0.850 millimeters in diameter and 1.35 meters long. All right, so first thing is, if we think about the nature of this question, right, we're talking about stretching and forces and original lengths. So we're talking essentially about Young's modulus formula over here on the right-hand side. All right, so let's just write that down. So the, uh, I'll write it over here. So the force, either comp in compression or in tension, will, equals Young, uh, will equal Young's modulus constant multiplied by the change in length of the object divided by the initial length of that particular object multiplied by the cross-sectional area of that object. So what are we looking for? We're looking for force. Great. In order to calculate force, I got to know all of these things, right? So first, let's take a look at Young's modulus. Where would it be? It would be found in a table, all right? So in the table on the upper right-hand side, we're looking at steel piano wire or just steel wire. And here it is, 210 uh, times 10 to the 9 would be the value for Young's modulus. Easy enough. Do we know the change in length that the piano string changed by? Well, it says, um, let's see. It says to stretch the piano wire eight millimeters. So we do know the value, but I don't like millimeters. I don't have anything personally against it, but I know that I have to have everything in meters in my formula. So just simply take, in terms of my delta L value, it will be 8.00 millimeters, but that's also the same thing as saying 0 0.008 meters, okay? Just move the decimal three places to the left or divide the value by 1,000, same thing. Do they tell us the initial length of the wire? Yes, they do. It's 1.35 meters. So I do know this. That's great. And the last piece I just need to calculate is A. And what do they tell me? Well, it's a piano wire and it has a diameter of 0 0.850 millimeters. So let's draw the figure. So it's a circle. The diameter they told us is going to be 0 0.850 millimeters, right? And if that's the diameter, don't we know what the radius would be? Remember, radius is just half of the diameter. So what's half of 8.50? 4.25, right? Millimeters. Okay, now, again, nothing personal about millimeter, but I don't like you very much. I'd rather have it in meter. So what I need to do is now convert this value into meters. All right, so just simply move the decimal again three places to the left. One, two, three, and fill those two areas with zeros, and that's the value. Put the decimal right there, okay? So we get 0 0.0004. Two five meters, right? So this is the value in meters for the radius, okay? I need to know that because I realize that this figure is circular and the area of a circle is pi r squared. So I need that radius, that's why I did that. So plug in now the radius here, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0 4, 2, 5. What's going on with the pen? 4, 2, 5, and square that. And now I get the cross-sectional area being equal to pi times 0 0.000425 squared. And it works out to be 5.67 times 10 to the minus seven, right, meters squared. So this is now my A value over here. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? We got everything we need. So let's just plug it all in. So the force will be equal to the Young's modulus value of 210 times 10 to the ninth multiplied by the change in length, we found that over here, right, in terms of meters, that was 0 0.008, divided by the initial length, it's told us that it was 1.35 meters long. Okay, great. And uh, the cross-sectional area we just found was 5.67 times 10 to the minus seven, and here we go. Just plug it all in. So 210 times 10 to the ninth times 0 0.008 times 5.67 times 10 to the minus seven divided by 1.35. 1. 1. And it works out to be 705 or 706 Newtons. All right, that is the force applied by the piano tuner. Thank you guys so very much. I really hope you enjoyed this. Um, well, enjoyed as, <laughs> enjoyed as much as you could possibly enjoy physics. So I really do hope that you subscribe. That would be great. And again, I really do look forward to helping you with the next question. Take care.